watching Ty Warner Cable News all day. St. Peter's Hospital becoming one of the first hospitals in the nation to get a brand new top of the line surgical system. Two brand new Da Vinci XI systems replacing the hospital's previous robotic operating mechanism. Now these new systems offering greater precision and control through three dimensional high def visualization. St. Peter's has been a pioneer locally in successful robotic surgery. They've completed nearly 5,500 procedures and have some of the highest robotic procedure volumes in the entire country. When we can do a lot of these procedures minimally invasive with the robot, as opposed to being an open procedure, which they would have been before we started doing minimally invasive surgery, it saves our patients a, uh, a lot of discomfort. They're able to go home the next day. And a new system going to go into use right away. There's actually several procedures scheduled for Wednesday. From WNYT. Albany in HD. News Channel 13, live at 5, begins right now. Plus, the new robotic system helping doctors perform surgery at one local hospital. St. Peter's Health Partner showed off the latest technology in robotic surgery today. It's been 10 years since St. Peter's became the first Capital Region Hospital to acquire and use the Da Vinci Surgical System. The robotic system helps doctors do minimally invasive surgery, particularly to treat cancers of the female reproductive system, as well as urological cancers. As the doctors explain, the new system provides both a computer upgrade and enhanced technical abilities for the surgeon so they can do more intricate procedures. It's not about the equipment. Something which is very important to, to say and to remember, it is not the robot that performs the surgery, it's the surgeon. Uh, the robot just gives them some additional capabilities that they, they would not otherwise have. Even though they see four small holes on their abdomen, this is still major surgery. The surgery that we performed inside their abdomen is exactly the same as what we used to do through an incision. Worldwide, an estimated 500,000 robot-assisted surgeries have been performed over the past decade. 5,500 of them were done at St. Peter's. The new robots, two of them, will go online tomorrow. Dedicated, determined, dependable. This is News 10 ABC at 5.30. New at 530, doctors at St. Peter's Hospital have some new help in the operating room, robots. That's right, 10 years after getting their first robot to assist in surgery, two more have just arrived and they're ready to go. John Gray joins us with the details. John. All right, Lisa and Mark, before someone asks and I get an email, no, the ro robots are not in there like a human being performing surgery. Uh, the doctors do that. They are under the control of skilled surgeons. Uh, what this new purchase does, though, is put St. Peter's on the map as a leader in robotic surgery. Sort of like the difference between driving your 1967 Chevy and your, you know, 2015 Cadillac. Meet Da Vinci, the new robotic surgery system. Today, St. Peter's Hospital showed off one of its two new $2.6 million robotics. These robots offer skilled surgeons access to a system to provide greater precision and control through a three-dimensional, high-definition visualization and enhanced dexterity. Now angle so that you can actually see behind you. So you can actually put the camera right in the middle and see 360 degrees around the abdomen, which will allow us to do much more uh, intricate surgery. St. Peter's hospitals perform nearly 5,500 robotic procedures, nearly 1% of all the robotic procedures in the entire world. Today, surgeons at St. Peter's have become highly proficient at robotic surgeries, and they're national leaders in all robotic usage in procedures like prostate, kidney or bladder surgery, as well as gynecological surgeries, including cancers. We really have the right physicians, the right team. We really have optimized this really for the benefit of our patients. Da Vinci XI surgical system, which was cleared by the FDA just three months ago, was delivered to St. Peter's on July 1st, and they won't waste any time beginning to use it on patients tomorrow, with six operations already scheduled. Now, let's face it, all patients care about is get me in and out as quickly as possible and uh, do it right the first time so you don't have to get in there again. These cutting-edge robotics are going to help doctors do just that. It's really going to cut down the time you have to stay in the hospital after the surgery. That's good news for everybody, especially the patient. Mark. All right, thank you, Johnny. This is CBS 6 News in high definition. 
Yeah, technology is everywhere, even in the operating room. $2.6 million was presented to St. Peter's Hospital today in the form of robots. Da Vinci surgical robots to be exact, don't worry. The hospital is replacing older systems purchased in the past 10 years. The surgical system helps doctors perform delicate operations with greater precision and even less pain for patients. St. Peter seems to be well versed in using that technology. Since they've been using the Da Vinci systems, the hospital has performed more robotic procedures than any other institution in the region. Dedicated, determined, dependable. This is News 10 ABC at 6. Surgery at one local hospital has gone to the robots, literally. A St. Pete's has uh, used robots for years now. Now they just purchased a two state-of-the-art robots that are going to help the doctors uh, save lives. We'll show you how. Next time you have surgery at St. Peter's Hospital, don't be surprised if there's a robot in the operating room. Uh, for a decade now, the docs at St. Pete's have had the robotics, but today they showed off two brand new Da Vinci XI surgical systems. Doctors use them to assist in the surgery, and it makes them more precise and more efficient. Now angle so that you can actually see behind you. So you can actually put the camera right in the middle and see 360 degrees around the abdomen, which will allow us to do much more uh, intricate surgery. Now, one of the nicest features of a robotic surgery is the recovery time much quicker, so doctors get you home to your couch faster. This is CBS 6 News in high definition. Well, robots are pretty much everywhere these days. They're even in the operating room. $2.6 million presented at St. Peter's Hospital today in the form of robots, Da Vinci Surgical Robots. The hospital is replacing older systems purchased in the past 10 years. This surgical system helps doctors perform delicate operations with greater precision and less pain, we're told, for the patients. St. Peter's seems to be well versed in using the technology since they've been using the Da Vinci systems. The hospital has performed more robotic procedures than any other institution, we are told again, in the region. And St. Peter's becomes the first hospital in the capital region to bring new robotic surgical equipment to its patients. You're watching Time Warner Cable News all evening. St. Peter's Hospital becoming one of the first hospitals in the nation to get a brand new top of the line surgical system. Two brand new Da Vinci XI systems replacing the hospital's previous robotic operating mechanism. Now these new systems offering greater precision and control through three dimensional high def visualization. St. Peter's has been a pioneer locally in successful robotic surgery. They've completed nearly 5,500 procedures and have some of the highest robotic procedure volumes in the entire country. When we can do a lot of these procedures minimally invasive with the robot, as opposed to being an open procedure, which it would have been before we started doing minimally invasive surgery, it saves our patients a, uh, a lot of discomfort. They're able to go home the next day. And a new system going to go into use right away. There's actually several procedures scheduled for Wednesday. WNYA, my four in HD. This is News Channel 13, live at 10. St. Peter's Health Partners shows off the latest technology in robotic surgery. It's been 10 years since St. Peter's became the first Capital Region Hospital to acquire and use the Da Vinci surgical system. It helps doctors to do minimally invasive, invasive surgery. Doctors say the new system provides enhanced technical abilities for the surgeon so that he or she can do more intricate procedures. It's not about the equipment, something which is very important to, to say and to remember. It is not the robot that performs the surgery, it's the surgeon. Now the robot just gives them some additional capabilities that they, they would not otherwise have. Even though they see four small holes on their abdomen, this is still major surgery. The surgery that we performed inside their abdomen is exactly the same as what we used to do through an incision. The two new robots go online tomorrow. 
right now on News 10 ABC at 11. Next time you have surgery at St. Peter's Hospital, do not be surprised if there's a robot in the operating room. Using robots at St. Pete's is really nothing new. Doctors there have done it for decades. But today, they showed off two new, brand new Da Vinci XI surgical systems, which promise to work even better than before. Doctors use them to assist in surgery, and it makes them more precise and efficient. Now, angle so that you can actually see behind you. So you can actually put the camera right in the middle and see 360 degrees around the abdomen, which will allow us to do much more uh, intricate surgery. One of the nicest features of robotic surgery is that the recovery time is quicker. Dedicated, determined, dependable. This is News 10 ABC at 10 on Fox 23. Next time you have surgery, don't just thank the doctor afterwards, thank the robot. We'll show you which local hospital is going high tech when you go under the knife. All right, Liz, uh, next time you have surgery at St. Peter's Hospital, don't be surprised if there's a robot in the operating room with you. For a decade now, the doctors at St. Peter's have had robotics, and today they showed off two brand new Da Vinci XI surgical systems. Doctors use them to assist in surgery, and it makes them more precise and much more efficient. Now, angle so that you can actually see behind you. So you can actually put the camera right in the middle and see 360 degrees around the abdomen, which will allow us to do much more uh, intricate surgery. One of the uh, nicest features of the robotic surgery is the recovery time is a lot quicker, so doctors get you home faster.